Sony has announced a new PlayStation Plus catalog games for extra deluxe and premium users this month, with games for sports, superhero and horror fans. The catalog lineup includes NBA 2K24, Kobe Bryant Edition, PS4 and PS5, Marvel's Midnight Suns, PS4 and PS5, Resident Evil 3, PS4 and PS5, LEGO DC Super Villains, PS4, Mystic Pillars Remastered, PS5, Blood Bowl 3, PS4 and PS5, Super Neptunia RPG, PS4, and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, PS5. As for the locks and premium, you guys get new classics in the form of Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontiers, PS4 and PS5, Cool Borders, PS4 and PS5, God's Eater Boards, PS4 and PS5, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy, PS4, and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R, PS4 and PS5. Higher tier users also get a new trial for As Dust Falls for PS4 and PS5, allowing you to play for one hour. Besides that, My Hero Academia Season 1 will join Sony Pictures Core on April 1st, and select Crunchyroll series are available now for users in Mexico, Spain, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, and France. The new catalog games will be up for download on March 19th, and now is the last chance to play the 10 games leaving next Monday, March 18th, such as Civilization 6, Cold Vein, Ghostwire Tokyo, Haven, Neo The World Ends With You, Knights of Azure 1 and 2, Other Wilds, Shia, and Warriors All-Stars. I think it is a good month with stuff like Marvel's Midnight Suns, Resident Evil 3, and NBA 2K24. What do you think? What games will you be playing? Let us know in the comments below, and look out for the poll in the community tab. Welcome to hi games here are more gaming news that you need to know. We have an interesting update regarding the PS2 story from this week, where developer Implicit Conversions was brought to the forefront in an interview with Time Extension. The company is developing the classics for PS Plus, and Time Extension listed them as working on more PS2 games, which was then corrected as a mistake. Given that Reddit users found the company profile does indicate they are working on PS2 games, Time Extension followed up on the story contacting Implicit Conversions co-founder and CEO Robin Lavalli. Lavalli replied that unfortunately he can deny nor confirm anything about PS2 games, which is PR code for we're definitely working on something but Sony is watching, as otherwise they would have flat out denied the claim. Furthermore, Reddit user Turbo Thunder found out that among the listed clients on the Implicit Conversions website, most of them have launched games on PS Plus Premium, except for Rockstar Games, Konami, and Cyan. There's a speculation that some titles from these publishers such as GTA, Chinatown Wars, Manhunt, or Silent Hill from PS2 or PSP could be brought back at some point. What do you make of this story? Drop your speculations in the comments. Similar to that, there's an update on Spider-Man The Great Web trailer that leaked this week. A second trailer also leaked, and again I'm not going to show it, but you can find it with the links in the description. There's not much new for this trailer, as it's very similar to the first one. Yuri Lowenthal narrates again, but we discover it's a Spider-Man from another reality who appears to be dead, and he tells how the Spider-Man jig is a lot more fun when you have friends, with the trailer showing some theme of gameplay sections. This trailer, however, explains a bit more about the story of the Great Web, and how a few spider heroes tried to protect it before and failed, so you were gonna have to team up and avoid the Great Web from collapsing. Some fans still hope the idea or elements of the story make it into Spider-Man 2 as DLC, since the leaked content strategy for the game had a Spider-Verse Anomaly DLC listed for late 2024. Do you think Sony made the right call to cancel this multiplayer? Are you hoping some elements appear in Spider-Man 2 as DLC? Voice your opinion in the comments. Moving on, The Last of Us 2 production is already underway, and showrunner Craig Mason has given a new update. The Last of Us News on Twitter has reported that the first episode for the upcoming season is almost finished, they still have to do a couple of takes in different locations, but Mason is mostly done with directing his part, and happy to enjoy the second episode being done from the more traditional showrunner view. Naughty Dog Info on Twitter also reported that according to the Directors Guild of Canada, the season will have a total of 7 episodes, which is 2 less than the first season. Given the two story arcs for Ellie and Abby, and if they were to play similarly as the game, I don't think 7 episodes are enough, so who knows how they will be working with that on TV when the show premieres early next year. Are you looking forward to The Last of Us Season 2? Let us know in the comments. Quickfire Gaming News is back, 
Here are some quick stories you can miss. After a short beta, the new PS5 firmware update is out now. It improves the DualSense controller's built-in mic, speaker and noise cancellation, adds the option to adjust the brightness of the PS5 power indicator, plus reactions so that your friends can further interact with you when you share screen. The PlayStation app will also get an update so that users can use share screen reactions, and the PS4 has update 10.5 that improves messaging, the usability of some screens and system performance. Queen's Blood, a card game and one of the most popular minigames inside Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, could get an expansion according to director Naoki Hamaguchi in an interview with Red Bull. He indicated they haven't decided anything in terms of future development, but the media provided very positive feedback on it, so they want to consider future expansions as a possibility. Silk Knight, the new leaker that has dropped news on Ghost of Tsushima 4 PC, has indicated that Silent Hill 2 Remake is complete and is in Konami's hands to decide on a release date. Resident Evil Central speculates that the publisher is waiting until Silent Hill Ascension finishes, currently halfway through its season. Silk Knight added they could see Silent Hill 2 release in the last quarter of this year. Developer and publisher Saber Interactive has removed all references to Embracer Group from its website, adding credence to recent rumors from Bloomberg that the company was being sold to a private investor for about $500 million. The logo used to say it was an Embracer company, and the bio also said they were a key part of the Embracer Group, both of which have now been removed. Ubisoft has detailed the post-launch roadmap for Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. It starts this month by adding a speedrun and permadeath mode plus new outfits. Then in spring it will get a boss rush mode with more outfits. Summer will add new combat, platform and puzzle challenges alongside new amulets and even more outfits. All those content drops are free. After that and later in 2024, they will add a new story DLC as paid content. Sea of Stars is also getting a new update celebrating the game reaching more than 5 million players. Dove Single Player Plus, it will add a 3-player local co-op mode for traversal and combat with a new co-op time hits mechanic. It's currently in development and should be released soon. Geoff Keighley has announced that Summer Game Fest will be returning on Friday, June 7th with a cross-platform live showcase from the YouTube Theater in Los Angeles. Public tickets will be on sale this May 7th. And those are the PlayStation stories for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up or down to let me know your feedback, check out more content you may like as well, such as why was Spider-Man the Great Web multiplayer cancelled, and subscribe for more on PlayStation. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is hi for games and I'll see you on the next one.